Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, it is time for This Is My Bolo. And I'm gonna show you mine, and it's a big one, and I'm super excited about it. It just sold last night. And then I have invited some friends, Bolo Buddies members, resellers in the community. A lot of them are YouTubers. I will link them down below. But they are going to give you video footage of their big money bolos. And I'm going to put them all in one video for you guys. These videos are super fun. You're going to get to meet lots of new people. And definitely go and sub them up down below. Their eBay stores and their YouTube channels will be linked. But let's get started here with my bolo. Now, you guys know that I have talked about Webkins being a bolo. And I don't think this one has ever been in one of my big money Webkins bolo videos because I don't know that I've ever seen it when I was searching solds. This guy was a lovely surprise. I got him at the Goodwill Benz. Are you ready? Look how cute he is. He is a Webkins pit bull and he's got the little Webkins there. One thing that's nice about him is the white is still white. A lot of times that will yellow, and he looks really good. Here's the GANS tab, tab, tag. And one thing to note on the Webkins, if you're ever wondering which type it is, on the Tush tag, it gives you all the information. It tells you what plush it is, and it also gives you an item number. All right, so you can include that information in your title. I sold this for $100 and the buyer paid shipping. And if I remember correctly, I think this is going to Canada. So big money bolo plush, this Webkins right here, $100. And I got it at the bend. So my cost of goods was probably less than a dollar. Hey there, Bolo Buddies. My name is Amber, Picker Money Flipper, and these are my bolos. The first one is these Wilkinson razors. I paid $6 for these, $2 a piece, and they sold for 58, not 58, 5306 and 695 to ship. So always remember to scan everything. The next thing that I did was this Sony monitor, uh, sorry, Sony Triton monitor. I accepted an offer of $185 and 2895 to ship. I paid $5 for this at a yard sale. Look out for these Sony, um, Tritons because other models can go for hundreds up to a thousand dollars a thousand dollars. Yeah um, And the next thing is I picked up this I'm not even gonna say it swarts off Sorry uh, Like a hair guide coloring book hair dye um, I paid five dollars into this and this sold for sixty three dollars and seventy one cents plus Twelve ninety five to ship. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Childhood Finds on eBay, YouTube, Instagram, pretty much all the above. And I have a pretty cool bolo for you today. It's going to be this monkey's record tote. This is for 45s and I paid $2 for it at a garage sale. I wanted to share it because I wanted to reiterate like many others before that just because it's not in perfect condition, don't throw it out. This has a broken handle it has some beautiful mystery staining on the back, and it has a little bit of cracking to some of the vinyl. The inside looks good, but overall it's seen some stuff. Um, it does have an amazing graphic though, and it's hard to find. And I took a best offer in about two days for $100. So don't throw out stuff that's not perfect. Thanks everyone, and thanks Courtney. Hi everybody, I'm Cat Philanthropy and I'm a full-time reseller out here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I sell on eBay, Macari and Poshmark and I am coming to Whatnot. My first show will be within the next two weeks. I'll post the date here in the next couple days. And thanks to Courtney, I'm getting my butt moving on that. So I have a fun bolo. I did an online auction and on Saturday went to pick up the items that I won. I purchased four vintage box purses by Willardy. That's W-I-L-A-R-D-Y. And they are cool. I bought all four for $152. I posted one yesterday and it sold the next morning for $375. $375 for one. Now, it's possible that I probably could have gotten more, maybe if I would have put it on auction. 
because I couldn't find another one like it, but here it is. Look at this little cutie. Isn't that adorable? Look at the top. Oh, I just love it. It's from the 1950s. It opens up. It's got this beautiful little mirror in it. Look at this cool handle the way it is. I just love this. Sold it. Happy to have sold it. I hope you all learned something from this. Watch out for those box purses. I have a lot more coming and plus some cool mesh ones I'm going to be showing. Courtney, thanks for all you do and thanks to all those people who educate us out there. We appreciate you. Have a great day. Hi, this is Tina Thriptaholic. I'm coming to you with my bolo. This I got in an auction of, um, it was a lot of kitchen items. Um, I paid about $13 for the whole lot, so I'm in this about $3. And I was about to give this to my consigner because I thought it was just like a wall decoration, thought it wouldn't bring much. But I Google lensed it and it wound up being a cheese mold strainer and it's an antique. I saw them sold on eBay for about $59.99. I listed this at night and by the next morning it was sold for $59.99. Bad news is <laughs> I looked at it on WorthPoint and this exact design item sold for about $120. So I, uh, that's a lesson to me to look it up in WorthPoint as well as on eBay before I list it. Thank you, Courtney. Hi, it's Wendy with Nina's Jewels, and this is my bolo. Pillow pets. We find pillow pets all the time at garage sales. We find them in the bins, and we only pay usually 50 cents to $2 for them. They're always inexpensive, and they always sell. We've sold so many pillow pets over the years. They usually sell for between $20 and $25 and they are so easy to ship. You just throw them in a poly bag and send them on. Also, they're usually machine washable unless they're one of the electronic ones or a specialty one. So you can, if you get them and they might have a few little stains on them, you can just throw them in your washer and dryer and they usually wash up really, really well. So be on the lookout for pillow pets. They have a really good sell-through rate. You can find us on YouTube at Nina's Jewels and on Facebook and Instagram at Nina's Jewels LLC. Thanks so much, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Hi, my name is Rebel, and I'm the Rebel Reseller, and this is my bolo. We recently went to a yard sale, and I was looking around and saw this little bamboo basket, and inside of it was a child-sized tea set of Sagwa, the Chinese Siamese cat. And I looked up comps, and I was quite surprised. I had not really heard of that brand that movie before and I was shocked at the comps on them. I paid five dollars for the tea set and it sold for ninety nine dollars and ninety five cents the same day I listed it. Hey Bolo Buddies and Toy Addicts this is Jody from Toy Addict and this is my Bolo Wildlife Fact File. This is a set of six binders that are full of cards about different types of wildlife uh, mammals, amphibians. They're heavy. I found these in a state sale, all six of them together, $4. And I sold them in about two weeks for $155. These are um, educational materials, so they can ship uh, media mail. 29 pounds of fact file cards about animals uh, shipped media mail for $23.25. Things that pertain to the classroom and homeschool. This kind of stuff is expensive. So if you see educational materials at sales, look it up because you might have a bolo. Make sure and like Courtney's video because she's awesome. Uh, subscribe to her channel and my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey Bolo Buddies, hey Courtney, my name's Kristen. I'm a rural squirrel, you can find me in all the places. Thanks for letting me share some of my favorite bolos with you guys. And vintage quilts is definitely on that list. These things have been in style for a long time. They've consistently been good sellers and I've been on eBay for 26 years. They've always done well for me. And look how much I'm selling them for. Plus, I'm getting them at the bins where my bins is 69 cents a pound. I got another one going out today. So make sure that you're watching for vintage quilts, 
good quality, handmade, hand stitched if you can find them, great colors, and you're gonna do great because they're always a good bolo. Thanks so much for having me. I hope you guys are out there finding amazing things. I hope you're shipping amazing things. I hope you're doing amazing things. And I'll see you guys in the bins. Hi everybody, Farm Girl Scavenger here and I have a bolo for you. So, um, here's my YouTube channel. <laughs> Sorry, it's hot. I'm glistening. That's, that's what my sister-in-law used to always call sweating. I used to think it was so funny. Anyway, so here's my bolo. It may be a bolo to you. It may not be a bolo to you, but some, everybody seems to be quite surprised. So after Easter, I always go to Wally World to see, to look at what candy's left over. You could do it after Halloween and Christmas and all that too, but for some reason, it seems like the Easter candy is more left over than the rest of them. So when I went to their... Um, it was a couple weeks after Easter and they had these Reese's marshmallow top peanut butter cups Ooh. and they were 70% off. They also had these, which is nothing other than an egg shape, right? 70% off. They were 91 cents by the time I bought every one of them that they had and paid tax and divided it. So I got... I have sold a few already singularly. <clears throat> I know a lot of people don't like to buy and sell candy, especially during the summertime. Same goes with candles or anything that can melt, right? So needless to say, um, I sold six, I took a best offer. I had them listed for, what did I have them listed for? Probably isn't going to tell me here. I don't know. I had them listed high. I was the only one that had them. The other seller sold out. So I took a best offer of $60 for six of them. So $10 a piece, right? They're all in um, $93.08 after shipping. So why did I take the offer? Because I com I have combined shipping, but that's what they they it added up to. So how, do you, how are you gonna ship these things without getting them melted, right, in the summertime? Well, I am able to get these boxes from a friend who has um, medication shipped to them and there's ice packs and air pillows in here. They're clean, they're sterile. So um, I can fit six of those in there. Now here's the deal. They bought six of these and they bought six of these. So they paid $90 and I don't know if you can see it. $90. I'll put, I'll put the thing up here anyway. But $93.08 they paid for six of the eggs and $93.08 they paid for six of those. So like I said, I'm 91 cents into each of them, so it's less than $6, right? Anyway, if you have the ability to get these, they don't just work for frozen stuff or stuff that you don't want melted, but they also work well for expensive breakables. Um, so there you have it. That's my bolo. And thanks, Courtney, for all you do. And Thran, you saying hi? He's saying bye. Oh, he's saying bye. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, Courtney and all the bolo buddies. My name is Amy, otherwise known as Resale and Donkey Yells. This is the last piece of the Canyon River, River collection. It's a collection that has been discontinued. I bought this at the flea market about a year and a half ago, and I paid $15 for the entire four piece set. It had dinner plates, it had the salad plates, it had all these little knickknacks and bowls that you could put stuff in. And this is the last piece. I have made well over $200 on just that $15 investment. So this is the last piece. If you are interested in buying it, see you on my eBay at Resale and Donkey Yells. Thanks, Courtney, for all you do. Hi, Courtney. This is Tina, the Thriftaholic. And um, as you can see, it's a small mug and it's made by Royal Copenhagen. I'm gonna show you the uh, mark. Royal Copenhagen. This was designed by Niels Thorson, 
And um, there is a series of annual mugs. So this one is dated 1967. And when I looked this up, I found it at an antique mall. It was the most desirable year. And um, I had it originally listed for $175 and just took an offer for $110. I paid up a little bit, $18, but still a good profit and a cool little item. So thank you, Courtney, for all the opportunity and for teaching us so much. Bye. Hey, this is Amber from Picker Money Flipper, and this is my bolo. I found this is a, a VR gun. It's a video game gun. I'll put, pop it up here. I don't remember the game. And it's, a, it's a replica. They make a gun from the game. And I Google lensed it, and this this is damaged. Um, one one it of the arms over thing. here, the lights don't work, it pops out. out. But this today I sold. What you pay for it? I paid $2. Sorry, I'm super excited. I paid $2, it, and, and it right sold now. for $290 plus shipping. Cha-ching. Cha -ching. If these were in great condition, like five, like seven to five hundred dollars. Yeah. If it's so, new, like almost I've never thousand. seen it, so I didn't stop. I Google Lens and I found it. Thanks. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. <laughs> Here's my other bolo. I bought these Cooper Type A, A2 yeah. aviator jackets, leather. They're like brand new. Yeah. I got two of them for fifty dollars. One sold for a hundred and seven, and the other one sold for ninety. $97 plus shipping on both. Not huge profits, but they sold real quick. They sold in like three weeks. Both of them, yeah. Both of them plus shipping, so. Out of the country, too. Out of the country, and they're small, yeah. so. Yeah, they went quick. Just wanted to show. It's, it's really a nice cool jacket, find. made in the United States. So, yeah, like yeah. a flight one. You already said yeah. that, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, it's Jay Marie, uh, The Money Worth. I sell on YouTube, Instagram, eBay, Facebook, and whatnot, and my bolo is a tree hut bohemian escape bubble bath and i actually just sold this uh yesterday and i'm about to go ahead and ship it out and i actually bought this from the bins it cost it was by the pound so this probably cost me about uh, a dollar or so they let me get it for a deal and this is uh, about the third product that i bought from uh, tree hut so it definitely that company is a great place to go ahead and uh, source, look for uh, bath products, um, facial products. Uh, I have been able to sell them pretty well. So again, I got this for a dollar and it sold for $14.99 and it was only listed probably about a week. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'm glad to be part of the community. Bye. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Go give all the amazing resellers in this video a follow down below. Subscribe to their YouTube and follow their eBay stores. And as always, thanks for watching.